Welcome to the Stay at Home Shopping Network. If you guys love junk, thrift hauls, DIYs, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. We go live every Thursday at 4 p.m. to show you the items that we have for sale that are new, that we've just finished at JamieRayVintageHome.com. We get asked every time, how do we buy the stuff that you're showing? Everything you're gonna see today has already been listed at JamieRayVintageHome.com. And if you're in the live feed or if you're watching the live chat later on the replay, Mariah is here dropping links to every single item. Some of the things are onesie twosies, meaning we only have one or two of them because they're one of a kind items that we've thrifted or found. So make sure if you see something you like, you buy it. If you have questions or you need to combine shipping because you shopped and then you shopped again, just valid on Thursday only. Um, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin will combine your shipping. We're super excited to be here today because we are donating 10% of all proceeds from today's stay at home shopping network to our underground railroad which is a charity that helps support the fight against child sex trafficking it's ran by tim ballard and actually um like little backstory there i grew up with his wife in california so i'm super excited we've actually been um, contributors to underground railroad for many years i've met tim and his wife in person at charity events that we've been to so I'm super excited to be able to do this today, and that is also why I'm wearing blue in support of that. So, welcome, welcome, know. everybody. I didn't know to wear blue. I didn't give Zeb the memo. I actually forgot that it was July 30th until like two hours ago. I was like, shoot, I had this whole thing planned. So, luckily, I remembered in time. All right, let's show some stuff. Yeah, we're super excited. Today's kind of rainbow themed. If you saw the picture, I color coordinated everything. So, we'll try to go one color at a time. All right, this looks like a little kitty cat. That is a grain sack cat made out of an authentic grain sack. It's got a cute little heart, and we only have one of them. Um, let me pull that up here. That is cool. We she may did a good job more if they're popular, but my gal always sends me new things to see if people like them, kind of like the um, scarecrow hats that we had last time. I feel Same. like we're going to need 20 of these, to be honest the with you. Cats. Like these can just be, they, they, it would work as a throw pillow. Like you could throw it in the corner of the chair or the couch and it'd just be cool. This one is 1995, and we just have one of these kitties available. Mariah, drop that link in there. Um, we are going to go through more grain sack stuff. We have more of these. But we only had one last time and it sold out. These are the grain sack scarecrow hats. Every single one of them is unique, and they are lettered. So check the variant to make sure you get the one that you want. Zeb has I, I have D, and they're made out of authentic grain sacks. And they actually fit on a mason jar lid. So you can use them like that, or you can just set them as uh, full I, decor. I think they would be really cool on like gourds or pumpkins on your porch. Oh yeah, that'd be super cute. So 1995 for these, these are all hand sewn, made with authentic grain sacks. They've got um, piping in them to keep them up so they don't flop around and they're way cute. Hello Jessica and Design Policy and Lolly Lolly and JC says, yay Jamie and Zeb for donating to such a great cause. All right, the next thing that we've got going on here is all the colors. This is a Mexican blanket table runner. I don't think I put the measurements, but hold it up to your body. I wonder so if it says on the tag. No. It doesn't. Hand wash separately. Hold it up, let's see if it's taller than you. It's, well. Let me see. Oh, the cat sold, as did a grain, two grain sacks and a grain sack towel. Thank you, Jane. So it's it's like as tall as my nose. Okay, so, well, hold it. No, it's taller than that. It's no. like six foot tall with the, with the tassels. Oh, if you count the tassels, yes. To count the tassels, the Mexican blanket runner, which is available for the low, low price of $12.95. I had to look at the camera. <laughs> it's six feet tall. I feel like flying. I need, to, I need a good hill to run down with this flapping behind me with my arms outstretched. We had these before and it sold super fast. People love them for decorating for Cinco de Mayo or they're kind of boho. Robin says, I bought that first grain sack hat and it's sitting on an owl statue. So Robin was the one who got the original grain sack hat, scarecrow hat, when we only had the one. So she got the very first one. Good job, Robin. And Helen says, I have my phone watching and my computer buying. That's the only way to do it. If you guys want a little trick, if you go to the collections and you hit filter and you sort new to old, then all the new stuff pops up. It makes it so much easier. So this was in Jamie's grab bag. We showed it in our thrift haul. Essentially, it came from Facebook, but it was a bunch of stuff for 20 bucks. 
And no, I think that came from Marlene. Are you, like, sure? Are you sure? I don't know. Now I can't remember. I'll have to go back and watch my own video. <laughs> um, Mariah just linked my shirt. This is the swing tee. It's sixteen ninety five, and she's gonna link you guys to the flower kimono. So we'll get that up there. Navy floral kimono. It's eighteen ninety five. Three quarter length sleeves. It's very. This is a small, and because it's, it's kimono, flowy. it's very flowy. It's a navy blue. So I know. I think normally. I would probably wear a pink shirt with this, but I wanted to wear blue today for... Oh, Jamie Dixon, $10 super chat for the cause. Thank Ooh, you. Thank we you. will get that over to our Underground Railroad. Woo-woo! All right. So, so this is... I feel like this is ready for... Um, Christmas. Christmas, yep. Yeah. And we got a lot of comments on that, too. Like, people were like, you know what? That could be, like, Santa's mailbox. Yeah, and we actually do carry some that are specifically for Santa, but this one is much less expensive. It's $19.95. It has hanging hardware on the back. It used to have some cobwebs, but Christy risked life and limb and cleaned it out for me today. So, it's all clean. The shabby vintage bell says, I'm on vacation, so got to catch you live. It's 95 degrees here. It's 99 here. 99 today, and Harrington and I have been up on the roof. I am glad to take a break and come sit in the AC and hang out with you guys. I'll tell you that. Cherry says, I just left an email for the cherry pot, so we'll show that next. I don't know if she's purchased it yet, but this is a, a little set. She probably saw it sitting up there up top. Yeah, let's, let's find the cherry uh, set. Let's see if it's still available. So that's just a green shade. Yep. It's a vintage metal lampshade. You could use it. Um, you could put. What I would do is I just put a single bulb through it. Just hang but, it. Yeah, just there. hang it through it. I love that it's white enamel on the inside. Let's see if I can find it on here. And it has like one little brown kind of a pinstriping all the way around. Green metal lampshade is nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. All right, let's get the cherry set. So the cherry set, I was like, I made like a whole little vignette. Life's, life's a bowl of cherries. We have one set available, so it's this pot. But it also comes with the cherry salt pepper shakers. Wait for it. Can you hold these two? How much space you got? And what, how would life build a bowl of cherries without a bowl of cherries? So you get this whole set for $22.95, complete with fake cherries in a vintage. The bowl is actually really cute. Let me show you the bowl. I like that the cherries are all individual. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. I was like, what am I going to do with these? And it then makes I was them like, look a lot more real. I was like, you know what? If I put them in a bowl, I could say life's a bowl of cherries. So for $22.95, you get the salt and pepper shaker, the cherry pot, and the bowl of cherries. Make your own little vignette. All right, I'm going to move some stuff off because we have more to bring up that we had to take off so that you can yeah, see Yeah, it us. was quite the situation. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mariah just dropped the link, so if you're interested in that cherry bowl, you can just pick that and you'll get all of the cherry things. And Christy just shot by. She was, she was just here earlier, um, and I saw that she bought one of my chippy ceiling tiles, so that means I only have one left. I love them both. I saw I was like, ooh, she bought that. She came all the way from Oregon, and she's on vacation. I thought vacation. they were from Colorado. They're on their way to Colorado. Oh, I thought they were from... No, somebody else is coming from Colorado today. They were out there. Oh, they're out there. No, this was before that. I don't know. I said hi to someone from Colorado. <laughs> no, this gal is from Oregon on her way to Colorado and stopped by and brought the Hobby Lobby manager. I was like, oh, Hobby Lobby manager. Ooh, Lolly Lolly got the Serape table runner. That's right up your alley. I think it might even have orange in it. Okay, so it he's showing orange. you these license plates. We have marked down all of our vintage license plates are marked down 20%. No code needed. Are they 20% till they're gone? Till they're gone. Till they're gone. Till they're gone. These are great for crafting. If it doesn't happen to be your state, they're really fun to just cut the individual letters and numbers out and make a sign like that just with the, the like uh, all the different colors and things. We have 18 available and originally they were $16.95. We marked them down to $13.50 and they are all organized. If you look at the picture, you can get pick the exact one that you want. So you can pick the number, the state. I know sometimes people pick them because the state or the number is meaningful to them. So Some of these had not organized. been through the car wash before they got pulled off the car. <laughs> Just saying. Authentic vintage license plate. This might plate be crusty. my favorite one. Look at that. It's got the I good like the chippy on there. Is that the black and white ones? Uh, yeah. yeah, from Maine. Oh, that's silver. The silver with the, no, the, the chippy paint. I think New York has black and white ones. Yeah, and I think also you're talking about, there was one in here. 
I don't know. I might not have it up here. The Kansas one, is that the one you were talking about? This one? Jane says they're awesome for a farmhouse bird roof. So if you have like a farmhouse bird house, you would just take one of these and fold it in half and make a little roof for it. We have a lot of well, others. I like that one too, the green and white. Yeah, we, we have a lot of other ones. They're just, I mean, there's, it's a large stack. We could be here a while showing we won't them. won't show them all to you. Guess what? We also have all remaining medium cement molds, 20% off. We've never done it before. We haven't been able to get any more. I'm not really even sure why I'm marking them down other than the fact that they're huge and Christy would like room in her basement. So we're going to show you a couple of the cement molds we have. Just look up medium cement mold. They're all 20% off and um, you can pick yourself up one. And a lot of them that are left are the geometric. So if you love mid-century modern, if you love boho, if you love like contemporary, these are a really great way to add texture and keep them super just like organized. If you love organized in your brain because they're all symmetrical, a lot of the ones that are left. So these, well, let me pull up the cement molds. I think they used to be $89.95 and now they're $71.95. So all the cement molds are 20% off. How big are the handmade corbels for my shelves? We I need to get measurements, but they're like that big. By that big. Yeah, they're they're like if the size I were to of, guess, they're like ten inches by maybe eight deep. Yeah, maybe there. twelve inches. I'll get them measured and put on the website today. I'm sorry about that. I should have got those already. <laughs> well, I was doing the video, I'm like, Jamie. People might want these, and if they do, we probably should have a picture and a listing. So she just took the picture she had on her phone already and made a <laughs> listing for them. Yeah, that's why they're not on there, because I did it last minute for Zeb, and then I've been busy since it happened. Hello from Vermont, Peggy Ann. If you guys are just joining, 10% of all proceeds today are going to be donated to our Underground Railroad. So another thing you guys can do that can help us is you can hit that share button and copy and paste this video on your Facebook or your email list or text it to people and share out this video that really helps get it out there so people can see it. So everything purchased at, from Jamie Ray Vintage Home today, July 30th, July 30th, 2020, 10% is all going to operation underground railroad. So we're super excited. Um, Yumiko just got home from the bank and she's ready now. Good job, Yumiko. All right. We also have these coasters. These sold out last time. These are our grain sack coasters. Every single one of them is a little bit unique. There's a couple that we have, like a couple of each, because they're similar, but we've got, they're numbered, like this is number one, and Zeb has number two. They are sewn, so even though they have the frayed edge, they are sewn, so it's not like they're going to keep fraying. Set of four. Set of four. We've got these. What is Operation Underground? So Operation Underground Railroad is a charity that fights sex trafficking around the world. So not only do they fight and they do underground sting operations, essentially infiltrating the sex trafficking, they pretend to be like buyers and stuff, and then they get the local authorities involved and they break up these rings that traffic children. And then once they do that, then they have aftercare, they take care of the kids. And then Tim's wife, Catherine, I know her as KK from growing up, she has started the Nazarene Fund and they actually work to help place these children in homes for adoption. So that's what Underground Railroad is. Um, a lot of you guys, if you've been on social media, you've seen that today is the national, uh, the International Awareness Day for Human Trafficking. So if you see somebody wearing blue, or talking, talking about our Underground Railroad, that's what it is. And I believe they even have a special on Netflix. So just look up our Underground Railroad What was that video that we went to watch? Is that the Netflix special you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, we actually saw the premiere of their video, uh, yeah, they their put, movie that they made. They put together kind of like a documentary, and it really so. goes in depth on what they're doing. And props to these guys. I was watching that documentary. I... I don't think I could do it. It's, no, it was it's hard tough to watch. what they're doing. It's necessary to watch so we know, but it's hard to watch. But yes, just look up Operation Underground Railroad on Facebook, and they also have our website, and O-U-R is for short. So if you hear somebody say O-U-R, that's what that is. So, All right, so the number hooks, oh, Mariah, these number hooks are not that set. These are the ones we have sold individually. We, we found these out in the wild. They yeah. didn't. They didn't come from uh, the wholesaler, one of our wholesalers. Because we sell them as a set for forty two ninety five for all six, but these are being sold individually they're because they're missing numbers. the number two. Yeah, the number two is gone. Well, I think the number two was the one that was broken. It was. It had broken. Oh, Leticia. Yes, number two had broke. So, thank you, Rave Home Staging, for the super chat. Great cause. And then Peggy Ann says, I'm going to their Facebook page to share it. All right, so these hooks are $4.95 each, and they're sold by the number. Or you can, Mariah, drop the link if you want to buy the whole set for $42. We've got the whole set. But we've got these just individually because I bought them secondhand. So 
so all right do you want to talk about the bowls of the bowl of fruit here the italian bowl of fruit so this was handmade in italy it's a ceramic bowl of fruit stamped made in italy the sticker says that it was made in italy and if you guys don't know that italy is known for their ceramics most most popular would be cup of monte um, when we were in France at Monet's garden and we went to where Monet was buried at the church, they had the Capo Diamante wreaths that they put on they all, all the, over. they put them on all the grades. And so I've kind of been obsessed with the Italian ceramics and pottery since then. So when I saw this, um, fruit basket, not Capo Diamante, but in that style, um, I had to pick it up. So $12.95 and all the fruits attached. So you don't have to worry about it falling out and it's never going to go bad. All right. This is universal Cambridge. Um, it says oven proof. So it looks like you can cook with it if you need to. Oh, Glenn Beck actually started the Nazarene fund. Sorry about that. I just know that Tim's wife, KK works close she does with a the lot of She with works it. with the Nazarene fund. Fun fact, Tim's older city sister, uh, um, Tevya is the CFO for uh, our operation Ground Railroad, Underground Railroad, and I grew up with Tevya too, so it's, they're they're a good family. Okay, um, Linda says, sorry were... I'm late, I've been watching Debbie and her new store, yeah, oh, we are going to be fine. in California next month for Gre Debbie's Grand Opening, so. I'm, a, I'm going to take a couple days off from the farmhouse and we're going to go to the we're Grand Opening. We're going to in by then. Sure, yeah, we'll say that. All right, so Deb is showing the Cambridge Bowl, it's $12.95. It's stoneware. It's made in the USA, and it's got some amazing like pitting and crazing. It's got if you love like ceramics that tell a story that have been around for a while, this is a great bowl for that. All right, Lolly just put the grand opening dates for Debbie's store, August twenty eighth through thirtieth. So we're super excited about that. We definitely need a break for a little bit. So, all right, next we have up not just. The rooster, but his girlfriend. They're $22.95 for the set. Originally, they were $22.99 each, but you know me. I'm always a marker downer. So we've got the hen and his girlfriend. We'll just call them Jamie and Zeb. Oh. <laughs> so $22.95 for this I'm uh, not going to lie. I did my... not paint them. This is how they came, but I actually really like Oh, if they're I... sold out. Somebody already bought these. If I were a rooster, my tail feathers Thanks, would be Mariah. way bigger. Your rooster. Oh, oh, let's find. This is what Zeb would look like. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Zeb if he were a rooster. And this is probably real accurate because it had, this chicken had authentic battle damage. Do you guys remember this from Saturday's Thrift Hall? This is a big mama jamma. I was going to keep it for the farmhouse, but I decided to put it on the website. I'm not even sure. Zeb, you might have to like. Uh, I need to hold it down so it can be seen. Yeah, well, I don't know if they can see the, the head on this one. So $89.95. It is a giant rooster. We painted it in weathered wood because it had some authentic battle damage. It's comb and back here. And we white waxed it. I actually feel like it's like 20,000 times better in this finish, even though I did like the show rest. Them, show them the tail. The, the, this side is a little That's what I did. I showed it to sad. Me. But you know, it's, it's okay. Roosters <laughs> lose their feathers. So this is Zeb. Sorry. He's the big rooster. <laughs> all right all right all right all right okay so we've got this mini dough bowl <laughs> jane says giant rooster is right it looks bigger than before right it just needed diy paint okay so we've got this little oh it's frozen oh we're back so it's so hot and it was in my pocket it's probably overheating okay but it's still buffering but it's the let me, let me hop out and hop back in. I don't know. That usually helps. I don't know what's happening. Hopefully it's, we'll be all right. Because we had some fun uh, Christmas in July stuff about to come through. Yeah, hold on. We're here. Okay. And we're back. So, Briar, can you look at this petite dough bowl? It's, uh, is that the right one? Yes. $11.95 like for this. It. It's just a petite little dough bowl. We only have one of these, and it's perfect for your keys and your change. All right. We'll put that to the side. So, we have a ton of stuff. Um, that came from Zeb's cousin Georgiana and so that a lot of things you're going to see it was a perfect day to do donating to our underground railroad because a lot of the stuff was donated to us by her my friend Sue brought some stuff so we're super excited about that so you're going to see a ton of dishes um, coming up so we've got the Christmas plate situation <laughs> happening here 
Oh, that one has a cardinal. I like that one a lot. So the one on the left is, or what, I don't know, it's probably your right. I don't know how the camera flips. It's 1978. It's from Lillian Vernon. And let's see, tree, plate. Let's see if I can just look these up here because I cannot this remember. This is the Cuthbertson original Christmas tree made in England. Okay, I think they're both the same price. Yes, they're both $9.95. So this one is from uh kerrigan line pottery in ireland so this one is the lillian vernon made in ireland 1978 maybe you were born in 78 your kid was born in 78 you forgot to buy him on my first christmas plate it's okay we got you 1978 <laughs> and this one is from england and it's 9.95 the cool thing about this one i don't know if Zeb showed you it's got a lot of really great detail around the edge so that one's fine these came from his cousin georgiana so this is a uh, cup slash plate mashed together. This is a Lennox plate, um, winter greetings, everyday cardinal. And I can't read the original by who it is from, but it's now a serving tray. And guess who made that, Zeph? Who made that? Me! You made that. Yeah, so we've got the red robin on here. And um, it's got then the little crystal glass underneath. It was actually from France. But I just thought, you know what? Let's make a cake plate. So I used construction adhesive and I made myself a little cake plate. I like it. it turned out and I can't remember how much I charged for it. So hopefully Mariah. Where's the live chat? Maybe it went away when we had the issues. Nope. It's still here. Not sure. Everybody, everybody got dumped off when it froze. All right, hold on. I got to look up the red robin. Bring these close so you guys can um, see. I just looked up Ted Tobin. Red Robin. All right. This is in the hand me dessert plate. So this one is $14.95. I'm going to show, can we show them all the dessert plates while they're in? Because they're in the same listing. Yeah. All right. So Zeb showing you those. I think those are like $6.95 for those. I can't remember. Or a set of three of them? Yeah. They're a set of three. They're really cool. I like them. Okay. So this is $12.95. And this is from Austria, this bowl, and then the little glass on the bottom is from France. And then, last but not least, we have this bright sunshine yellow. It's actually a vintage plate that I just was obsessed with, but I just thought, well, it's just one plate, like it didn't have a set. So I went ahead and took this piece of crystal, probably worth $4 million, but together, $14.95. Cake plate, made by me. So, I've done this before and they've always... While we're showing Oh, plates, it's a cardinal? It is a cardinal. Oh, what well, it, it says Red Robin, so when you go to buy it, you know that it's a cardinal. It's a cardinal. It says so on the, on the bottom of the plate. Well, I didn't look at the bottom of the plate. I just crafted it. <laughs> this one I like because it's a bowl. That's what my... And it's from Austria. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to make a little tiered tray. They don't match. So if, they won't go together. Look at the tiers. Lennox it's is so expensive. Great. Lennox is expensive, but it's not as expensive as you would think for resale. It's expensive to buy in the first place, but resale not as much. I don't know about this plate. I've been showing it. It's from Germany. Kai likes the yellow one. I like the yellow one too. We have a lot of lemony yellow stuff we're going to show. All right, let's see. Just reading what everything everybody says. Let's see if Red Mariah... Robin, Cardinal, all the Right. Basically, you were thinking hamburger. Okay, you so that's the bar. iris plate that Zeb has. And let's see, there's a platter. The platter. Let me see if Mariah's dropped links to those things. Zeb is just like rushing through here. The phone's giving me fits. I gotta finish it. All right, the platter is twelve ninety five. And I don't know if Mariah, Mariah, have you linked the iris plate yet? The iris plate. Can you show them the back of it? Where is that one made yeah, it from? Yeah, it says Germany. Made in Germany. RS Germany. I think that one's like, oh, it's $7.95. I was going to say $9.95, so it's even cheaper. It's $7.95, so Mariah dropped the link for that one. Okay, so we've gone through that. Let's talk about the teacups in the room. Okay, let's... Do you need me to hand you all of them? Um, Yeah, give me all the mugs. All the mugs. Okay. They're all over the place because I organized them by color, but we're going to pull them together. So I have the mug collection, but then there's some that are like more sold individually. What about these that are on the floor? Those are just part of this one, so it's okay. That's, well, that has, that's a different set. Can I have that little teacup over there? Oh, the one with this Christmas. Okay, yeah. 
ornament in there. All right, so Mariah, this is the next one. This is the Royal uh, Albert Boat and China Forget Me Not July mug. Here it is. And it comes with this mug, teacup, and the saucer. Also Royal Albert. I saw these anywhere from $20 to $24, and I don't remember how much I put on there, but it was much less than that. Mariah's going to get the link to this. She did just link the floral golden wedding anniversary. How do you buy? You go to jamierayvintagehome.com, or you click the links that Mariah's putting in comments. All of it's already listed. So this is Royal Stafford, and this is the golden wedding anniversary, Bone China. Were all these from... So each of these teacups are $14.95 each. So this is the Royal, I don't want to say the wrong word, Albert, forget me not. And then this is the Golden Anniversary with the roses on there from Royal Stafford. Both of them are Bone China, $14.95 each. And I did look them up. They sell for anywhere from $20 to $24 on eBay and Etsy. These look like they have a family uh, crest on them. Um, so that could be your tartan. It's really because close. Because it came from your cousin. It's, so. It could be because it's it looks it looks very similar. I was like Zeb's gonna want to keep these. All right, but Mariah hasn't dropped that link yet, so let's do the found mugs. Okay. okay so the found mugs. This is the French Toil mug. It's very tall. It's Laura Ashley. All these mugs are nine ninety five. This one here is made in England. Apple. This is apple blossom. This is actually bone china as well. I'll show you that one. Oh, this is made in Japan. And this one's really, yes, that, you're jumping ahead. How was that jumping ahead? Well, I was going to show them this one. Here, you show them that one. Tell them about it. It's made in Japan. It's for Christmas. It's got a Christmas tree on it with some also presents. Also $9.95. And then this one says, when a child is born, so is a grandma. And this is Mary Inglebright. Cute little mug there. This one says, August. And on the back it says, August is a wild rose, resplendent as each day unfolds, the crown of months engraved with light, a time of beauty to behold. And it's a precious moments one. Can you guys see that? I do like August. I do like it usually August. cools down towards the end of August. You know, when you, you know why you like August? It's when we were married. It's our wedding anniversary. Okay, so this is the floral one. This is Bonnie Griffin Santa Barbara ceramic design. And it's green with florals. All right, oh, and then this is, if your name starts with B, we have a B mug for Barb. And also look up Barb the Pizza Eater. Just do it. Saturday Night Live video. It's hilarious. All right, so those are the... I'm going to carefully move these off so we can bring collection. some more stuff up. Okay, so this is $12.95 for the set. And this is Royal Grafton Fine Bone China Made in England. And this is, I believe, it's Zeb's Tartan fabric on them because it came from his cousin, Georgiana. It's got gold on the top. Oops, it's a little dusty. We'll clean that out before you get to it. There's the bottom. They're both in really good shape. Okay. Next, did you kiss the Blarney Stone? Mariah's was married in August too. Mariah got married when I was very, very, very pregnant with Odelia. Like, she was due in two days and I was at their wedding. Okay, so this is a really cute set. This comes with the pitcher. This is Laura Ashley as well, and it's hand decorated in England. And this is the pitcher, and it comes with the two mugs. Very cute. It's got that cobalt blue that's super popular this year. Is a set of three Christmas ornaments sold? Um, let me double check real quick for you. Mariah, did you drop the link to the Christmas ornaments? Well, she's double checking. I love Norman Rockwell art, and we've got some plates. I'm so excited. I, like, squealed. I was super excited. So the three vintage Christmas ornaments are still available. They are $6.95, and you can find them in the antique collection or the holiday. Let me go ahead. I could just drop the link. Sorry. Let me get this in there. All right. Okay, I just dropped the link, Mary, for those ornaments that you wanted, and Mariah did it too. And then for this is 1995, this Laura Ashley set. So the whole set, all three pieces. These Norman Rockwell plates I thought were really, really sweet. I like the subject matter. They're Gorham Fine China. It's a recreation of his Four Seasons series, but we only have three seasons. I'm selling them individually for 1995 a piece. 
and we've got fall, um, summer, and I just think this spring one is really sweet. I like it, it would be because... Zeb, it would be Zeb and Harrington, except for Zeb never had hair. <laughs> <laughs> I just really like his art. I feel like he really captures, like... The American spirit. Yes, exactly. That was what yeah. I was going to say. You finished my sentence. We've been together for almost 19 years. 19 years on the 17th of August. It's coming up. What are we going to do for our anniversary? I don't know. It's, it, it feels what day like, of the week is it on? If, I think we actually have a football jamboree on that day. Oh, yeah, well, football jamboree, <laughs> that's a great way to celebrate 19 years. All right. Lolly Lolly says, it's a beautiful country. Agreed. How lit? Llama Mama, we, we're only like halfway through. Uh, Mariah said she'll be in the hospital. Yep, she's having surgery next week for her anniversary. Okay. Wait, I want to show this so bad. These are like my favorite things. <laughs> All right, Zeb, show it. Look at this little pea pod salt and pepper shaker. They come in the original box. We have four sets. They came from his cousin, Georgiana, um, and they're really, really cute, and some of them actually still have salt and pepper in them, <laughs> so be careful. They're peas in a pod. They are very, very sweet. I thought they were really cute. Let me see if I can find these. I can't remember how much I spent. I just think that they, like these little salt and pepper shakers, I mean, they're just little round peas. 8 95 Awesome. And we do have four sets available. I'm wondering if your cousin Georgiana entertained a lot because there's like tea sets. I actually, we had a whole set of china, but that sold before it's we It's looking like went. she did some traveling. Yeah. She's, she's really close with my mom. She's my mom's age. They grew up together. Oh, looks like, uh, let's see what's sold here. So... Mexican blanket is gone. This set is sold. Uh, they found the ornaments because those sold. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay. Again, if you're just tuning in, all of 10% of all of the proceeds from today are going to go to Operation Underground Railroad, which is a charity that fights against child sex trafficking. So I'm just saying that because I know some of you guys are just joining in today. They, Jen says that they make Zeb look like the Jolly Green Giant because they're so small. <laughs> And then Capes and Cottage just says the salt and pepper sets are so cute for individuals at a table. Like if you were having a little tea party, oh, they get their own. That would be pepper. excellent because, you know, there's usually one set of salt and pepper shakers on the table and you're like, hey, you, down there, please pass. And then they're ignoring you because they're in the middle of a conversation like your, your food gets cold while you're waiting for the salt and pepper, you know. Zeb likes all of his food very well salted. <laughs> he is, he's big on that. So Kai wants to so know, where did she get all the cute stuff? I just think Georgiana was a collector, it must have been. Either that or lots of traveling. You know, I'm trying to remember. I actually can't remember ever meeting her. All right, rolling pin, vintage red rolling pin. This actually came I was from Marlene. Small child. She thrifted this, ten ninety five, and it's got like the Kirby turned handles, original red. <laughs> so if you're watching this. Social distancing salt and pepper yeah. because you have your own. Oh, Zeb, smile, show me your teeth. These are my temporaries. The real ones go in Tuesday. Four hours he sat in the dentist chair, caps on every single adult teeth. Don't grind your teeth, and top. if you do, wear a night guard. Yeah, night guards are... I don't know why I said adult teeth. Like, you have all adult teeth. Can you tell I'm used to talking about kids' teeth, adult teeth, kid teeth? <laughs> oh, gosh. This rolling pin's got the really cool handles on it. Yep, 10.95. Lolly says, I smiled back at you with my new one. So Lolly's also broke because that's our story of our life. I was like, <coughs> how much? <laughs> it's all right. Okay, next. So cute lemons we got today. We have a few different lemon things. I guess we'll just show all of them. This was done by Jean. She was do putting lemons on um, another, the lemon topiary. And she's like, let's put some lemons on this cute jar. So... Let me pull this up here. So I these are the IOD lemon transfer on a jar. Yeah, just a clear glass jar. Perfect for summer. This could be available to you for the low price of $8.95. Good coming, morning from Australia. Coming up next is the lemon topiary. $39.95. It's over there. Oh. Sorry. So this is a totally put together piece. So I found the bottom, which was a white stoneware crock. And I glued with construction adhesive this lemon topiary that I thrifted. And then it only has three little lemons on it. So really to bring the lemon home, Jean put this lemon transfer Excellent all over Excellent work, it. Jean. This transfer has really adhered well. And if you've been waiting on the lemon transfer, make sure you hit up jamierayvintage.com because we only have like four left in stock. And then we added some fresh moss to top and the topiary is born. 
So it's a collaborative effort. I put the topiary and the croc together and Jean put the cute transfer and the moss and I really like the way that turned out. We also decided to show you our French soaps. We have lemongrass. What does it smell like? It does smell like lemongrass. And lemongrass comes in the big mamma jamma, which is $9.95, or the little baby for $2.75. So I would say that this is, it's, it's got a real good lemon scent, but it's not like lemon dish soap cleaner scent. It, yes. It's, it's more subtle and springy. It's lemongrass. Yeah. So, and then we also have the little baby sweet lemon. And this is like a sugary lemon smell. Like. What are those, uh... Oh, lemon heads? Is that what yeah. they're called? Lemon the candies? Heads. Yep. That's what this smells like. And that's the mini soap. And if you buy any of the soaps, they ship flat rate $6.95. So all the Bath & Body pro products, my face wash that I use, my lip glosses, all of the Bath & Body is flat rate shipping $6.95 no matter how much you order. So we just wanted to showcase all the lemon So heads. if you get four or five bars, $6.95 for shipping. Mm-hmm. Uh, super chat from Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Okay, um, Michelle says, Zeb's new teeth are great, but he smiles with his eyes so nicely. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no, I told him, I'm like, I, I, thought I get my whole be, face going when I smile. <laughs> I thought that it would be like a huge difference, but not really. No, I He's told, always been cute. Well, I went, my dentist is really good, and I was like, hey, I don't want him to look like not me. I don't want like big, like neon light chiclet teeth under here, you know? So uh, we worked together and looked at a bunch of pictures, and I think he did a really good job. And we're actually going to be lengthening them a little bit on the permanent ones that are going in on Tuesday, but... So they're going to be a little longer. So I'm going to yeah. have to get used to new teeth again? I don't know. So like, much change in my life, I can't handle it. So before, like, I mean, it's only like two millimeters. Oh, longer. Jean's on here, and Kai says, Jean Marie, it's everybody approved. Yeah, Jean does some good work. Okay, let's talk about... The insulators, we had a purple insulator, which was just the top of one, and that sold. But with their, we've got the clear ones and the blue ones. This one was patented May 2nd, 1893. Uh, disclaimer, like some of these have had a rough life. They're not like your pristine, never been banged around in a box insulators. These are great paperweights. They're really fun decor. Good and bookends too. They will add like a pop of color to your display or whatever. Or clear. You need. So these are six ninety five and like I said they have authentic yeah battle damage. Yeah. And they're all different. We have all different styles. And these tell them what these were for because some people don't know what insulators are. We also have them in clear for four ninety five. I think they're really cute to just do like a grouping of three in a vignette. So you would have a wooden peg that went into the power line pole or whatever, and then these insulators, they were threaded on the edge of the wooden peg. It would sit on there, but wood is conductive, so you didn't want the wire hanging on the wood. So the insulators are what the wires ran on, and that's why they've got like these fun shapes. They would loop them through here and run them to the next pole. So when you order these, it's luck of the draw. We're going to have them on a shelf, and Christy's just going to ship them in order. So you either get to choose whether you get a green one for $6.95 or a clear one for $4.95. We did have a purple top, but like I said, that one sold, so it was like super fast. Um, Jane says, I've seen people drill a hole in the top and make hanging lights. Yes. So the IKEA set, you know, the IKEA light bulb that we showed you, that you could drill a hole in the top here, and you could totally make a hanging pendant with that. Very, very easy. And I've seen that in a lot of, like, industrial modern designs. The drill bit I used, if you've seen the Corporal Shelf video we did, I think it's, like, three, four days ago now. Um, if you haven't watched it, you can check that out. And, but I used a special drill bit to drill into our marble tile so that we could put the shells on there. And I think that would work on these without cracking and breaking them further. So if you've been waiting, there are only two sets of the pea pod salt and pepper shakers left. And the Precious Moments uh, mug just sold. Oh, you know what I didn't show? This is in the mug collection. This is a cardinal too, but it says uh, Red Robin because I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is a little baby mug. It's $2.95. It's the cutest little thing. Jamie, you could soak your teeth in them. <laughs> my, my braces that I haven't been wearing, that I need to be wearing. Anyways, there we go. Teeny tiny, this one's $2.95. It's in the mug collection. All right, so these are sold. Okay, I'm going to move these aside. And the Precious Moments August mug sold. Okay, so we have a few of these left. We, I had Harrington make probably about 40 or 50 
um, cutting boards and charcuterie boards, and these are what's left. He leaves for college on Thursday next week, and I don't think he will be making these ever again. <laughs> yeah, so, I think these are like the one of a kind done. last of Harrington's run that he made for us when we were really busy working on the farmhouse and I didn't have time to make them. And we've marked a lot of them down um, just to get rid of the stock that we have left. But if you've been waiting to get a charcuterie board made by Harrington, make sure you're ordering them. Um, if we don't already have them made, he's going to be making them until next week. So get your orders in. We're actually going to be doing a college special next week because Harrington's going to college. Camry's going to college. Lauren's only going to be working Saturdays. Um, everybody's going back to college, so we're going to get them to do a bunch of fun stuff, and we'll have that up next week, so I'm super excited about that one. Sweet. What are you going to get? Do I know why the mini soaps are not the same fragrances as the large ones? Yes, because that's what I ordered. <laughs> if there is a mini soap fragrance that we don't have that you're interested in, just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, and the next time I put in a mini soap order, I'll order it for you. I can pretty much get any of the soaps in the mini soap size, so just email Caitlin, and we'll make sure you get it. All right, Jean Marie is this. Jean and Marie and I can cry together. Although Jean Marie's daughter is only going a few hours away, Harrington is going 13 hours away. All right, so Lauren, she's the one that came up with this beautiful color mix. This is Water Lily with black wax. This is beautiful. Like I don't know if it shows on real, like on the camera, but this is gorgeous. Jean says she'll still be crying. Jean, you can cry for both of us. We all know I'm not much of a crier. I maybe I'll cry, maybe in like a month. She says that, and then she ugly cries when no one's watching, and she comes back and she's like, "I'm good, I'm good." Why did the media fail to upload? Hold on, guys, I gotta fix this. Uh, are we still showing this? This yeah. is big. Like, you can see it on the table here next to me. This is like put out on your front porch, and everybody thinks you've got beautiful boxwood all year round. <laughs> so this is $74.95, but for some reason the pictures were not saving. They're finally uploading. Oh goodness gravy. So $74.95. Um, this is this is probably I what did I put the measurements in there? So it measures almost two feet tall by a foot and a half wide each direction. And it's got this gorgeous patina. Lauren worked a really long time to get this black wax rubbed in there. And she did a really great job on that. I actually was just going to do weathered wood and white wax. But I really like when the girls are helping me do stuff. I let them do their own color combinations because they get to play. So Jean says not everyone cries like me. It's all right, Jean. We can cry together. Christy will cry too. I'm going to be crying. I'm going to figure out the schedule and keep the Lolly shot. Lolly says, I covered. didn't cry. Does that make... No, Lolly, it doesn't make your bad mom. I'll cry eventually, but it's going to be a hot minute. I'm not going to cry. Like, Bye, I'm going to give chef. him a high five and some gas money and ship him out to college. <laughs> I know. We were going to drive him, but we're like, he doesn't want us to, so we're like, eh. eh. Okay. Well, and it would literally be like a couple, maybe, maybe an hour or two there, and then we'd just be driving back. It's like a... 13 and a half hour turnaround trip one way and then so come back the other way. These yeah. were really popular. We have three left. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's good. Um, they're $79.95. This is column base number one. And then we have two that are just wood and they are A and B and they are also $79.95. They're all one of a kind hand carved antique column bases. So you can pick those up on the website. And these would have had like a wooden column to like hold up a porch or whatever. That's where these come from and they're imported. All right, let's see if that finally saved. Okay, I think the pictures are finally up there for that box. But that was making me go crazy. I put them in there and then, let me just make sure it's right. Just a second. All right, good. Okay. All right, these are galvanized planters. They're sold in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And they're the elongated ones. Basically um, oval. Yes. <laughs> Smalls are out of stock, but this is a small. The mediums are $9.95 and the large are $11.95. And they're really cute galvanized planters. I like the handles on them. These would be really good with, like, I think this big one could hold some Ikea greenery really yeah, easily. Yeah, if you're a fake plant mom like me, it would totally fit the Ikea greenery. All right, let me pull up comments here. Oh, super chat from Tarnia. A little something for Harrington to take with him on his road trip. Thank you, Tarnia. Oh, Debbie ordered the mug because her birthday's in August, so she had to have it. How, uh, Tarnia has a new shop opening. How is, yeah, how is Tarnia, that going? Yeah, Tarnia, is your shop open? How's that going? 
Uh, Yumiko said, I'm pretty sure my dad cried when he wrote the tuition check. Oh, yeah. Even after Harrington's scholarship, which covered over 50% of his tuition, it's still a little painful. Let's just say mama ain't getting a pool for a hot minute. All right. It's all right. He's this gonna... is the skate case. Do you guys remember that skate case that I started on Saturday? Let's see if I can find this one. It got salt wash, which, you know, some people love it, some people don't. But look at the texture we got with that salt wash on this. So when we were in France, one of the things I noticed is that, like, all the old stuff had kind of that, like, chippy, crusty texture. And I even finished the bottom. Show them it's finished on the bottom. Ta-da! So this is that white skate case that I got from Marlene, and it's $29.95, and it does open. I did not paint the inside. It's got, like, the original paper in here. It's a little dusty, but it's got the original paper in here. So it's just a vintage skate case that I made look all kinds of French. Oh, I think it says French stenciled sake box instead of skate. It would help if I... No? It says skate. I don't know why that one says that in the listing that Mariah dropped. <laughs> I'm like, are it's because it's, it's having fun with you. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure it's not listed twice. Nope. I don't know why Mariah's is misspelled. It's really weird. Okay. So this is the, this Redrick painted and it's the washboard shelf. So it's a, like an old washboard. It's got hanging hardware and then it's been turned into a shelf. We did not make it into a shelf, but we did paint it. Oh, it's our, <laughs> Lolly says that's a lot of sake. <laughs> that's a big box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, here's the washboard. Let me look this up, washboard. Redrick hasn't painted in a while. His stuff usually goes fast. If you don't know, Redrick had a birthday and he turned nine yesterday. He is loving life. Football is back in season. All right, so this is $14.95. And um, Lauren did wax it, but Redrick did paint it. So painted by Redrick and waxed by Lauren is what it should say in there. All right, next. I'm going to go have, over there and hand a bunch of stuff this way. We have this green bottle. I have no idea what originally was in it, but it's really cool. Can you guys tell it's kind of light green? This is $9.95 on the website. We're going to start moving through stuff really fast. Um, what else do we have? Oh, have we already shown this? This was done by Camry. $9.95. This is a cast iron napkin holder, and it's got a little bit of that French blue color peeking through. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but it's got that distress coming through. We've got a set of brass candlesticks on the website. Oh, the green glass bottle is not $9.95. It's $8.95. Sweet. I hope that works out. All right, Mariah, can you look up these set of green, or green, set of brass candlesticks? I love brass because it's kind of timeless. This one has a little bit of worn patina on it, but you could shine it up if you like your brass really shiny. Did you already show these? Oh, Sandy says, I just bought that and a matching paper towel holder. Awesome. All right, so we've got these and then we're gonna get into the tarnished silver. The napkin holder is $12.95 for this and it's painted by Camry. So if you want something painted by Jean's daughter, you gotta get it now before she heads off in sunset to college. Good job, I'm dropping stuff. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Brass candlesticks. You know, if it's still over 95 when we get done with this out there. Are you going to be done for I'm going to, no, I'm going to take that opportunity to eat something and then Oh, $14.95 for this set of candlesticks. <laughs> and then we've also got, um, that's sold in a set of three, actually. So we have a lot of tarnished silver coming up at you here. Let's see, tarnished. Oh. There we go, the silver, silver tea set. So this is actually a teapot, and then they've got the creamer and the sugar dish. $39.95 for this set of three. And it's silver plated. And then we've got that set. That's part of that. So $39.95 for all three pieces. And then what's next? What do you want to sell next? I have a bowl. Oh, you have, let me I'm get going through the tarnished silver. I got a whole stack of it. I think those are all listed together. Tarnished silver oh they have like an abc or bowl yep. or platter or whatever christy put them in there tarnished silver dishes they're 12.95 each so that bowl is h and then you've got hold on 
So this is this has got a lot of fun tarnish on it, but the handles underneath are actually really detailed. That's a G. This bowl is F and it's got like a floral detail on the top. The tarnish stuff always goes fast. This is my favorite that we've had, I think. It reminds me of like a buckler shield. A buckler shield, don't the worry, brass plate. Don't worry about it, it's a buckler shield. Let me look this up here. A buckler is just a real small like you wear oh, right here on your arm. It was $9.95. This, this comes all the way from Plant Bar AZ. Oh, that's, we yeah. found that in Arizona. Yep. All right, move that along. We've got a set of three utensils. These are really cool. They've got like the leather strappy do, so they're ready to hang up. All right, let's, let's see comments. Thank you. I try to remember what I marked things out. But so are all these porcelain napkin ring set are there a set of four, but they look like this? Um, yeah, so made in Japan. Of, I'm gonna bring this it This is close. $12.95 for all three of these. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. I didn't know so you had that up there. So these originally came from Mervyn's. These are also from Georgiana. Made in Japan. Made in Japan. These are napkin rings. We've got two sets of four. Does anybody remember Mervyn's shopping I do. there? Um, and what was their super sale slogan? Do you know that? You uh, didn't have cable TV. I so. don't remember there. Is, was it the open one? Open, 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 yeah. open. And when I was a little girl, my mom used to take me to the super sales on Saturday. And I would sit by the window and I would say that. Open, open, open. And she thought it was so cute. You carried that tradition on with Harrington. Like, I think all of his clothes until he was about five came from there. Hey, and then Mervyn's was no longer. But if you want to relive <laughs> that, nine ninety five for a set of four of these. And they come with the box. Christy promises not to lose it. And I like that they are like the holly, but then they've got like the little glass. So it's just really great. They've got a lot of detail going on. Yep. So those are in the holiday collection and the found collection. That's already sold. Already sold? Okay, well, you know. I'll show it, but it's already sold. You may have seen it on a thrift haul. It's from, from that. What about this one? This one too? Oh, all the grain sack aprons are gone too, so don't show that. That's a pewter mug. I don't. I pewter think we mug. still have that. Pewter. Hold on. Pewter. Made in USA. Spell? It's just got a one stamp up here by the lip of it. Six ninety five, and you could be drinking out of that pewter mug for the low low price of six ninety five. I like the handle on it a lot. It's got a good shape. Yeah, I feel like Zeb would probably drink out of that if I took it home. Maybe nobody would buy it. Okay, Maybe. this is the vintage aluminum squash mold, $9.95. You can make yourself some jello, some meatloaf, whatever you want to mold. We got you. You just put it in there and just die. I think I had this problem last time. I liked the sound it made when it opened. Yes, so for the rest of the day, <laughs> that's what we will be doing. Just kidding. All right, so we've got two more rolling pins. These are ten ninety five each. This one is weathered wood, and this one is mermaid tail. I like those colors on there a lot. Together, so I, I picked the weathered wood, and Lauren did um, the, the weathered mermaid. wood next to the mermaid tail. It makes it look like a really dark navy to me. Yeah, it's like a dark. Are you gray. guys getting that? It's a dark gray color. This bottom one, but when you put it with the mermaid tail, it makes it it, it yeah. makes it like throw like a navy blue kind of color. I like it. All right, so this is the 1987 Hummel ornament. And it has the box, but the box is a little squashed, but we do show it in the picture. And it's legit Hummel. So if you forgot to buy your child a baby's first ornament for 1987, we've got you. You can buy it now and let them know that you've taken care of them. And it can be yours for the low, low price of $6.95. It says the mail is here on it. The mail is here. Let's see, I think everything up here, oh, no, this is this hasn't show? been shown, oh, and we've got the these two holiday. big candlesticks. Okay, yep, don't want to forget those. Those are the big mamma jammas that Lauren was working on. This is the Berry Bowl colander. It's $9.95. It's got a little farmer's market in there, ceramic. This is a rabbit bowl. Do you want to show them that up close? Because you have to have it close to see the bunnies. Lauren painted that one. The white swan rabbit bunny dish so it's not a white swan it's been painted in white swan and it's $12.95 let's see what else have we not shown um, oh the sign and the candlesticks so candle these are made of wood so these are big you can see yeah I can't I can't show them all at once without turning them sideways 
When you look up the word candlestick, we have sold a lot of them. Yeah, we probably need to remove some of those unique ones. <laughs> well, some of them are hidden. So they're $59.95 for the set of these two big mama jammas. Let's see, I also have a stool over here. Yes, we need to show the stool. The stool is cool. And, and, and stool, cool. And these oh. little signs, the room service please room signs. Room service please signs. Let's see, I can't remember how much those were. They were not very expensive. I think we have you said like $4.95 or $5.95 in the live thrift haul when we show them. $4.95. I think I'm going to start using that one on Sunday morning because that makes me breakfast on Sunday. So I'm just going to put that, I'm just going to hold it up next to them. I don't think we showed these, but we do have some clears. Yep, they're the clear ones. All right, so I did not understand why these have not sold. And then I looked and they were not, they were on the website, but they were not listed properly. So this is the lavender basket out of all the lavender that we have. This is the most realistic. This is the one that you used in uh, yeah, when on I staged, our shelves. Yes, I staged our shelves with this at the farmhouse. It's $69.95 for this basket. And the reason why I like it is normally when you get lavender, it's like the plastic and it's closed, the fake kind. But this one has little blossoms opening, which makes it look way more authentic. And they're fabric. Yeah, and they're fabric. And then all of the leaves are felted. So it's just a really good, like, I'm a fake plant mom. Most All of my plants inside <laughs> are fake, and I know a good fake one. This one's good. It's good. I grow real lavender outside, and I use the fake lavender inside. So we've got those, and then we've just picked up this new footstool that's really cool. These have been on back order for a hot minute. Bottle crate stool. Looks like one already sold because we had four. So $89.95, and they come with the legs unscrewed, so you have to screw them on, but they're all numbered. Very easy to assemble because Christy assembled it. So the seat is like a burlap but it's very firm, like it's really, it's, well, it's like way feet. overstuffed. All right, let's see if I can find the breath. Try Southern Bottles, oh, Southern Bottlers Incorporated, Tri-County Division is what that says. All right, a very heavy bronze vintage shoe. It's actually probably, it looks more antique to me. I and it's like been that's made into a bookend. Copper. It looks like copper to me. It's not copper. They don't copper shoes. They bronze them. I, I want it to be copper so bad. Seb wants this to be copper, but it's bronze. And it's $29.95. It's heavy, so it could also be used as a weapon. So keep it close to your bed. In case of an intruder. We have, that we have not. I think everything, oh, we didn't show these. Oh, so these would be cute painted, but I have them unpainted because I like it's like a brownish, it's like almost a color. Yeah, it's a beautiful wood tone, and I was like, I'm gonna leave these because people always ask for them unpainted. So the wood salt and pepper shaker set is $12.95. We have one available of those, and those came from Georgiana too. So it was a big Georgiana. She brought day. a lot of good stuff. We have more from Georgiana that we'll probably show at the thrift hall on Sunday because we only made it halfway through the awesomeness. Okay, so these are. Have you ever see me wear? Um, diamond earrings they're not real i know you're shocked that i don't wear real diamonds but we've got the their cubic zirconia 8.95 for the whole set yes for all four pairs and then show them the pearls eliza also, goes through these 8.95 for all those pearls so if you ever see me wear pearls or cubic zirconias i'm pretty basic when it comes to earrings these are the ones I wear. They're $8.95. I believe they come with the free shipping. I was going to say, correct. do they fall under the clothing category? Yeah, because category? they're clothes and jewelry, which is free shipping. So if you need earrings, I got you. And if you're like me, you just wear them until they fall out. So I like cheap ones, so then I just replace them. And then when I've lost all of them, then I just roll on through the next set. Cannot be spending a million and two dollars on those. All right, I've looked, and I think that's all the things for today. Nope. Oh, one more thing here, hanging on the wall. Yeah. That's it. So this is, that was painted by um, Lauren. She didn't get it finished last week, so we put that one up this week. The mannequin that I painted Saturday night did not get finished either that I know Because it's of. already sold. Oh, it already sold? finished. And Lauren started painting it, and I was like, you need to add more molds. So Lauren's going to finish that and get that shipped. And the grain sack aprons are all sold. Um, I think that's it. All right, you guys, make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintagehome.com for everything we showed today and more. There is tonnage. We have dough bowls. We have windows. Oh, windows. We've got two windows oh, over there. Oh, windows. Mirror, I, I've been meaning to show these for three weeks. That one has cracks. I know, because and it's on sale. 
So the old mirror window. So they come with hanging hardware. They're actually old mirrors. They're old windows. Or sorry, old windows with mirrors. This one's one forty nine ninety five, and the mirror is in perfect condition. And then one came from my picker, and the mirror was broken. So I thought I'd go ahead and sell that one at a huge discount because you can either add your own mirror or just take the mirror off. And this one is forty nine ninety five. And the mirror is broken, but you could totally take that out and hang just the window, and it'd be really pretty with a wreath. So I thought, you know, I can't get rid of it. I'll just discount it. So I took $100 off. So you can either buy it with the perfect mirror for $149 or the not perfect mirror for $49.95. So I've been meaning to show those for a hot minute. Um, I think that's it. Okay, you want to yeah. tell them what all the proceeds go to Yeah, again? so 10% of all of the profits from everything purchased at jamieravenditchhome.com um, is going to go to Operation Underground Railroad. So look up OUR if you want to support them. And everything you buy, we're going to donate 10%. We'll let you know on Saturday at our thrift hall how much money we earned. Um, all the clothing is free shipping. This is a new kimono. It's $18.95. And I'm wearing one of our swing tees. These are really popular, just plain v-neck tees. And then also check out Bath & Body because we have all of my face skincare, all of the lotions, everything is $6.95 flat shipping. And if you spend over $200, if you're in the continental U.S., you get free shipping. So make sure you're paying attention. A lot of people get real close. And if they would buy one more thing, they'd get free shipping or whatever. So don't miss out on that. Also, if we've been getting a lot of uh, comments on YouTube, if you want some of the things that we have, the... One, our one website where we sell all the craft items, the paint and the stencils and all that, that has international shipping built into the places we can ship to. But the home decor website, jamieraybintagehome.com, does not. So if you're out of the U.S. and you really, really want something, you can email info at jamieraybintagehome.com and we can figure out what the shipping would be and let you know and go from there. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it out to your friends and let them know to go ahead and shop today to support a great cause and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Love you guys. Another farmhouse video coming at you probably Saturday. They've been coming out yeah, Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. <laughs> Next video is coming out and we'll see you Saturday night at 8, 830? 8.30. 8.30 Mountain Time <laughs> for our weekly thrift haul. Love you guys. Have a fabulous day. Catch you.